Hey there, this is Terry Jordan Adams and I am just outside and I wanted to make a quick video. There's a couple things that I wanted to talk about. Um, again, this is Terry, I'm sued by the debt collector, sued by the debt, debt collector.com. Make sure you check in with me. Um, today, you see that? Ah, <laughs> I just voted. My husband and I, we just came from the voting station because today it's election Tuesday for the primaries. And uh, the reason why this was important is because when we expect change to happen, we have to take action on ourselves. Otherwise, we stay in the dark and we just, we're just uninformed. So, and this kind of leads me into what I really want to talk about. Well, I had a consultation where somebody asked me, can they garnish your social security benefits? And, um, the answer is yes, and the answer is no, okay? So when I had my consultation with this person, I talked to her and I said, listen, this is the deal. As it relates to social security benefits, you still wanna make sure that you respond to the lawsuit. And the reason why is because if they get a judgment against you, what happens is the judge grants them the judgment and then the debt collector submits the um, garnishment, wage garnishment to your bank. Yes, your bank, where your benefits are deposited. Well, with that being said, the bank has to follow certain guidelines, but the reason why it's yes and no is because what the law says, or as it relates to the Consumer um, Protection Financial Bureau, is that the bank has to make sure that over a period of time, there is two months of your benefits that you have had available. Now, I wanna clarify, because that doesn't mean that you have to have two months of balance available. It means over a period of time. So if let's say in 30 days, you um, let's say if you make $1,500, uh, you bring in $1,500 from your social security benefits. Well, that's $3,000, right? That you needed at your disposal. Well, if it's been a certain period, let's say if that period is 30 days and that $3,000 has been exhausted and you've had, let's say, other deposits, whether it's um, child support or if it is, um, child support is probably not the best example. So let's say birthday money or you, maybe even you share an account with somebody. If in that time frame, whatever that time frame is, if that exceeds that two months of benefits, then the rest of that income is subject to the garnishment. So, to my point, you may be on a fixed income, and but you wanna make sure that you still respond because if you don't, you can still put yourself in a position where your benefits are taken away from you because it's over a period of time. And I can actually give you a real example of that. I, have a, I had a friend of mine in um, Washington State and there was a debt collector they took money from her account and it was for her mortgage well that was pretty devastating because she was on disability you know so disability social security benefits and she was in a wheelchair and she was just about to pay her um, mortgage and they took the money from her so she ended up having to go to court and try to fight it explain it, get the money back, and guess what? They did not give her her money back because over a certain time period, she had more than two months of benefits at her disposal. So I just kinda wanna give you a heads up that no matter what, you have to respond to the lawsuit. That's gonna be your best course of action to avoid a judgment, okay? Let's just not even get the judgment because there's no guarantee that you're gonna get that money back, especially if you're leaving the um, outcome to somebody else. You need to maintain control of your own outcome. Now, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and smash that like button, leave me a comment, and please check the um, description box. I'm gonna leave um, something there where you can maybe do some follow-up um, information for yourself. And if you are a veteran, um, you have benefit. Let me say it this way: If you have veteran benefits, 
if you're on social security disability, if you're on um, fixed income, and you know, if you're able to prove all of these things. And in my case, I'm gonna make a special exe um, ex exemption where um, when I was going through my brain injury, I was completely disabled and dealing with the social security, they denied me, denied me, denied me. And I qualified in like five different categories. But if you know anything about the social security administration, they deny you just because, <laughs> and you have to appeal, 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 appeal. Anyway, so if that's anybody that's, if that's you, um, I need you to do a consultation with me because I may be able to have a special program especially for you, okay? I will also leave that in, in um, the description box. So anyway, thanks for entertaining me. We will see you on our next video. Have a good afternoon and make sure you stay informed. If you're not informed, then it's hard to deal with the consequences, okay? God bless. This is Terry Jordan Adams of Sued by the Debt Collector, suedbythedebtcollector.com, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.